Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my bedroom tour. So I've recently done up my bedroom, it has been a long time coming, it was kind of like half done, then I decided to completely redo it, well not completely, no, nothing too crazy. Uh, we painted the walls and put some wallpaper on. So I thought I'd give you guys a bedroom tour. So starting with the wallpaper, so this wallpaper is from I Love Wallpaper and they have sponsored today's video. They have the most insane wallpaper selection so i went for this one which is a palmer tropical wallpaper it is beautiful i chose it because first of all i absolutely love the color and it also has a slight shimmer in as well and you guys will know that i love shimmer i love shiny and i love plants i love flowers so this was a perfect wallpaper for me it also comes in some different colors they do it in a gray and in two different shades of green one of which i really like for the boys bedroom so that may be coming up so here's what it looks like when it arrives jordan put it up and he said it was very simple to put up i actually don't know how to wallpaper that is jordan's job so he put it up and um, yeah so it was very simple to put up we actually have a roll left over as well i also have some other samples to show you which i love and these were all potential choices for the bedroom first of all we have this silver textured one this is really really beautiful and i think i'm actually going to put this somewhere else in my house because it's just an absolutely stunning wallpaper and it goes completely with my interior like it's such a beautiful wallpaper so i'm definitely going to have this somewhere else in my house so we then have the same but a bit darker so i really love the texture of this it's kind of got like a gold shimmer to it so if you did have darker colors running through your house this would look beautiful and i'm always tempted to add some darker colors to my house i think this would be a beautiful addition i then love this one of course because it was pink and gold but i did just prefer the tropical one but this is also beautiful obviously there is then this one which i absolutely love i love this one i just feel like it was a bit too out there for this bedroom but i love this one it'd be great for like a shop or um, a business, yeah, I love this wallpaper so much, it's beautiful. There is then this one which is textured and it is um, silver with a bit of sparkly bronze running through it. And then there is the pink and gold pineapple one which I think would be great for like a little girl's bedroom. And then finishing off we have just this grey one with a silver pattern running through it. So the wallpaper was the main inspiration for the bedroom and then I just kind of designed everything else around it. I haven't changed my bed or my curtains so I also made sure that the wallpaper I chose went with my bed and curtains. Excuse me if there's any noise coming from downstairs, I'm getting understairs cupboard fitted. But my bed is from Next and it's around six years old. We got it when we first moved in to our old house. Um, yeah, I love it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a standard bed, so I will link it below. I will link everything I mentioned below. And then the bed goes with my curtains. These are the Kylie Minogue curtains in the shade Oyster, I believe. I think the bed goes really nice with the wallpaper because it has got that darker, um, shimmery kind of metallic tone running through it. It goes with the bed really well. The bedding is from Debenhams, so it's just some white, I don't even know what like the pattern's called on it, crisscrossy, creased-ish look bedding. I then have these large pillows, which are from Laradout, so the pillows come as a pair and then you get the pillowcases. So this kind of style bedding they had in Debenhams and in Laradout, but I got the bedding from Debenhams, but I got the big cushions from Laradout. These cushions, um, so I have two on the bed and the pink ones are from Matalan. This one is an old cushion which I had um, on my other bed previously and that is from Zara Home. And then I have this fluffy number from River Island. So I think altogether the cushions go really well. I wanted to keep the bedding plain because the wallpaper is like so patterned and so funky i wanted to keep the bedding just white and plain so there wasn't too much going on in the bed because there is enough going on with the wallpaper throw is again an old one and it's actually from bnm i've never seen it in there since um, I'll see if I can find a similar one and link it below. My ottoman is from eBay and I actually want to get a new one. So that is just going to be there temporarily. I don't really think it goes with the bedroom anymore. So um, I'm on the hunt for a new one. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to get yet. And then the rug is from Ikea. These lampshades are from Matalan. And they have a cute gold inside 
and then the body of the lamp is actually from HomeSense and I got them like around two years ago when I moved in. This cute marble tray is from River Island Home and everything in it is also from River Island Home. These mirrors are from Wilco's Home and we got them last year so I'm sure they have something similar in there still. I then put this shelf above the bed because I thought it would complement the wallpaper really well just being a plain white shelf because the wallpaper is so patterned I thought putting just a plain white shelf against it would look really really effective and I love the way it looks. I've also kept it all like plant themed because obviously the wallpaper is like tropical palms. Uh, I love plants and I love the outdoors so I thought I'd do like a plant theme. So I have this hanging plant which is from Ikea. The pot is also from Ikea. The two prints are from Decenio. So we have one eucalyptus print and then one wanderlust print a strong desire for or impulse to wander or travel the world so i thought it went in kind of nicely with the bedroom because kind of like outdoors tropical travel all that kind of stuff and then this little plant up here from ikea so the decennial prints that were above our bed now sit on this wall here i thought with them hanging above the bed it would just be too loud with the wallpaper like way too much going on so we've hung them there and i think they look beautiful so these are around a year old maybe a little bit more and they are our decennial prints so we have one of rome here which is one of our favorite cities and then just a cute pink print there this actually goes on the windowsill but the lighting's pretty awful so um it doesn't look great when i show you it on the windowsill but the flowers are just from ikea ikea are killing at the moment with artificial flowers and this vase is from i want to say dunnell mill but again two years ago um it actually even longer than that like three to four years ago when we lived in our old house so that is where it sits in the window this marble candle i think it's from primark actually the chest of drawers that live either side of our bed are from argos so i'll link those below they weren't too expensive either for mirrored furniture they have quite good storage in as well we have my google home which lives there i love having it in the bedroom because it means i can like play music and stuff in the bedroom so yeah, love having that in the bedroom. I then have two little candles there. I believe they are from, what well, that one's from Primark and that one was just a gift. This here is kind of like the ugly section of my bedroom. I'm actually getting built in wardrobes within the next few weeks, which I cannot wait for. So when they are done, I will show you those in a separate video, but they're gonna look beautiful. I found a really lovely design that I love, so that's just gonna finish off the bedroom. Jordan actually painted all of the walls white before we wallpapered. Uh, the walls in our house were kind of like an off-white. Um, they were called almond white, but obviously I wanted them bright white, so he painted all of the walls bright white. We used Valspar paint, which I really like and very much recommend. I then made this little gallery wall up here because this wall was looking a little bit plain. These frames are from Ikea and the prints inside are from Ku Photo World. So I'll link those below and I'll link the sizes and everything below because I get so many questions about the sizes. I think the gallery wall goes really nicely with the pink wallpaper. I just love the way it all looks together and I love the way it's like a stylish bedroom but again it's also a personalised one with our family pictures over here. So we have my lovely son Jensen here when we went on holiday to Spain and then we have a family portrait when we're on holiday in Spain. Then we have Jessie up here in the garden eating an ice lolly. And then we have me and Jordan when we were on holiday in Spain. The lampshade up here is from Ikea, which is a super cheap one. Um, I think it's like made of paper and you kind of like make it yourself, you get in a packet. It was really, really cheap, but I love the way it looks. I have one in here and one in my beauty room. So don't forget to go and check out I Love Wallpaper if you are thinking of wallpapering a room in your house. I love the way wallpaper looks in a house. It brings so much character to a bedroom. I'm actually gonna wallpaper most of the walls in my house that's my next job I do my lounge i want to do my hallway and i want to do the boys room you can also order samples like the ones i've shown you at the beginning of the video you can put them up on the wall and see what they'd look like i will leave the wallpaper that i have used linked below thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys soon